Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will create our first custom object called rental unit. And these are the different fields that we will add to our rental unit. So you have fields like what will be the unit number, the number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, floors, garage, number of parking spaces, laundry, appliances included. All these are the different fields related to the rental unit object. Now you have two options. Either you can follow along with me and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add these fields one by one and it will take me a couple of lectures in order to finish all these fields. Or what you can do is I have also attached the list of fields to this document as a document in this tutorial. So what you can do is you can just take that field list and you can start creating the fields on your own. So that way it will save you a lot of time and you can skip the next couple of lectures. But make sure the field label that you're going to use should match whatever I have given in the document because when we are going to do the Apex programming and the visual force for our property management application, you should be using the correct field names. Otherwise, your code might result into errors. So make sure you're using this correct labels that I've mentioned. But if you're not going to follow along with me, you can just skip next couple of lectures, but have all your fields ready when we go to the Epic side and the visual force side of this course. First thing we're going to do is we will create our custom object. So in order to create our custom object, we will go back to the developer's account and go to the setup and here write in the word objects. So under build create, you have this link for objects. Click on that and then go ahead and click on new custom object. So what will be the label for this? So we'll label it as rental unit. So this is going to be the name of our custom object and the plural label would be rental units. Does it start with a vowel sound? No. And uh, record name, you can call it as uh, record unit name if you want. You can also call it as a auto number and uh, you can say RU and uh, it is going to start with the zero and then have it one. So this is going to be the rental unit would be the record name and it is going to be auto number. So it'll automatically keep generating as long as you're entering more records into this object. The features, we're going to select all these features and object classification, leave it as it is. Deployment status would be deployed. Search status, we're going to keep it, uh, we'll check this checkbox. So if somebody wants to search it, then the user will be able to search the records. Object creation. So for this, we're going to create a custom tab also for this object. So we're going to go ahead and hit the save button. Now it is asking you for the tab style. So go ahead and pick any style you want. I'm just going to pick a bell and then hit the next. Now I wanted to make sure that this object tab is visible to all the profiles and then hit the next button. Now, I do not want to include this rental unit tab in all the applications. All I want is to add this tab in the property management application. So I'm just going to go ahead and check the checkbox next to the property management and then hit the save button. So now what we'll see is you can see the rental units is here. Right now, if you click on the word new, there's no fields we have added. The only field that is there is the rental unit number that we created earlier, which is the auto generated number, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start adding fields to this rental unit. And in the presentation itself, I have given you different fields that I'll be adding. So you'll start with the unit number, number of bedrooms, etc. So we're going to go ahead and uh, now we will add fields to this rental unit object. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the developer console and uh, there are multiple options you can use in order to add the fields. You can choose the option of adding fields through this quick access menu. You can go to the schema builder and you can add the fields or you can just go to the setup and uh, go ahead and click on our object object here and then you can add the fields by clicking on this new next to the custom fields and relationship. So we're going to go ahead and hit new here. The first field that we will add would be a unit number field. So it will be a text field and we will call this field as unit. And then we're going to add a hash sign to represent a unit number. 
the length would be let's say 255 would be the length and then it's not an external field it's not required we'll leave everything and then hit the next button visible to all the profiles hit next and then we will go ahead and do save and new so the next field that we will add will be the number of bedrooms so it is going to be a number field so we go ahead and select the number here so the data type would be number hit next and uh, the field label we will call it as number of bedrooms and then so the maximum will length would be two decimal places would be zero hit next and then visible to all the profiles hit next and then save and new the next field we will add will be number of bathrooms so go ahead and uh, click on number again that is going to be the data type hit next and the label will call it as number of bathrooms this is going to be the label for the field the length would be two decimal places would be zero hit next visible to all next and save and new the next field i want to add is the floors like is it a one story two story etc so we'll call the it is also going to be a number field so we're going to go ahead and choose number as the data type hit next and field label we'll call it as floors and uh, the length would be two decimal places would be zero hit next visible to all the profiles hit next and then we'll say save and new you can go ahead and add the fields along with me or you can just follow along with the document that i've provided so that way you will save a lot of time and you can skip next couple of lectures so in the next tutorial we will keep adding fields to our object rental unit and looking at this powerpoint we'll have a couple more fields to add so i will see you in the next tutorial thank you so much